right, so here's a practice session I love doing. I'm working with the Tour Pro Striker. I have um, my PRGR watch monitor out here. Um, it's really accurate, it's amazing. I put this against, you know, my um, full swing and it's within one or two points, you know, really good. So what I'm working on is speed um, two days a week. And I try to give myself a two to three day break in between. So like this with the seven iron, it's, it's, like, it's the same length as a seven iron. I'm trying to get my speed up to 85 miles per hour with the club head speed, okay? Ball speed should jump up even more, close to 99 to 100. But what I'm doing is what you call incremental speed improvements. It's where I'm just trying to improve one mile per week until I tap out. And it's really working really extremely well. So I'm doing an incremental speed increase and I'm just trying to do one mile per week. And then what I do, I'll check and see how consistent I am with the speed. I don't want to have one that's 82 and then one that's 75. One that's 84 and then one that's 79. I want to be within a two to three point number with consistent speed also. Third swing of the day, folks. And the reason why I use the Tour Striker is because it's also trained you to get them hands in a good hitting position. Turned that one. 82 miles an hour. Ball speed 109. And it's all about speed. I'm not worried about accuracy at this point. I'm truly working on miles per hour. So my goal today is to get up to 83. That first swing was 82. Seventy-nine and a terrible shot. Seventy-nine. Eighty-one. Two hundred mile per hour ball speed. You can also check your smash factor if you want to do that. Like right now, I'm just looking at um, trying to get to 83. I need one more mile per hour to get to 83. My consistency has been good. I only had one at 79, but the rest have been 81, 82, 81, 82. Our goal is 83 today. Ball. 81, smash factor 1.29, ball speed 105. And this transfers over, like I said, you can do it with a regular club. I like doing it with the Tour Striker because it's actually getting my hands in a good position. And if you ever hit the Tour Striker, it's a game changer. That one was 90. I'm going to throw that one out. It said 90 ball uh, club head speed. I don't think I jumped up that much with that. So we're going to throw that one out as an outlier. That's too big of a jump. Some nasty lives out here today. All right. We're still going for 83. We're going to throw that 90 out. balls. 82. Getting closer. Very, very consistent. We need that 83. That may be it right there. Ah, 82. Whoa. 
Well, it's consistent. So I'm hitting one of my metrics of being consistent. I need to get that 83 today. You only got to get to it once. Oh, that's gorgeous right there. 85. Okay, so I really stepped into that one. I had more pressure on the target side. Good ball right there. There we go. And it makes a difference with the balls you use. Like if I'm at the facility, I'm using um, Bridgestones and Telemades. At a range ball, you can probably add one or two, but that's okay. All right, let's see if we can keep it up there now. All right? It don't have to be 85. You got to be 83. There we go. So what I've done, I've actually improved my club head speed and my ball head speed. Ball head speed is at 111 now. Smash factor was 133. All right, here we go. So that's the game changer right there. And like I said, I do this like twice a week. And I like to take two to three days off in between. But it's a pure game changer because you see it show up where you start amping your speed up. But the best way to do it, I found out, especially as you get older, is incremental. Just do one mile per week. See if you can amp it up. And eventually, you're going to tap out. And then that's where you want to have what you call consistent speed, where it's staying within that number. So my goal is to get up to um, consistently 85 with this club. And if I can do that over the next two to three weeks, I'll be a happy camper. All right, let's, let's keep it up there. That's th this will be three in a row. That's both. Beautiful ball. 86. All right, so I'm in the zone right now. I'm actually in the zone. All right, let's go again. Oh, that's a big ball. 82. All right. And what I did to start tapping to that speed, I made sure the club was in my fingers. I loosened the grip up and made sure the club was in my fingers. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. 84. All right, so I met my metric today. I've hit five or six above my metric number. I actually went up to 80, what, 86? My goal is 85, consistently 85, um, to be able to hit, hit it consistently and hold those numbers. But this is a good training session that you can do. Again, you don't have to use a training club. Like, I like to use the Tour Pro Striker, which is going to make it even more challenging. You know, you can use your regular club when you can do it. You can do it with your driver. Like, with my driver, my goal is 106. Right now, I'm at a consistent 103, and I want to get up to a consistent 106. Hey, folks, I hope this helps you out. It's just another way that you can train versus practice, and that's what I'm about. I'm about training. Atlanta Golf and Fitness, baby. Forensic Golf Academy. Take care.